welcome to BP. You have the badge. How does it feel to be here? Great. Lifelong ambition to get my Blue Peter badge. And you are a Woo! professional puppet designer at the Little Angel Theatre. I have to say, this looks absolutely incredible. Like, look at the detail in that. And we should say it is a longer project. So if you guys want to try it along at home, then please do set a bit of time aside for it. Okay, so all the things you'll need is here on this list and don't worry about writing these down because all the info is also on the BP website. Right, Ellie, what is step number one? You're gonna need to get yourself a recycled cardboard box. This is the perfect size, but any size will do, so just see what you've got lying around. Bigger, smaller, doesn't matter. Right. First thing you need to do is to cut a hole in the front so that you can see into your studio. So, Mark about two centimetres in from the edges of your box all the way around and you're going to cut that out. So little tip, if you've got a pin, you can just poke some holes along the line, just a little way in until you can get your scissors in and start cutting that out. Now it's a little bit tricky so you might want to get an adult to help you. Gotcha. And once you've cut out that hole, you should have something like this. And as you can see, we've painted the walls blue and the floor black, just like our studio here in Media City. And we've also reinforced the top with an extra piece of card stuck there. So I'm gonna sit this guy here, and Ellie, you can tell us what's coming up next. Yep, so we're gonna make our circular stage, or rostra, like this one behind us. So you're gonna take a plate and draw around some thicker cardboard. You need four circles, three slightly smaller, one a little bit larger. And you're gonna paint one of these smaller circles to look like the top of our rostra. So here's one I made earlier. Hey! She said it! <laughs> she said it! <laughs> so I've painted this light blue and then taken a felt tip pen and drawn these lovely little waves to create that design. These extra swells we've done on a separate piece of paper and then stuck them on afterwards. Now the other thing to do is get your larger one that you've made and cover that in tin foil. Right, okay. And what's it been like being able to open your doors again after the tough year we've all been through? Oh, it's been so lovely being able to watch children enjoy live theatre again. Woo! We've actually got two shows on at the moment. We've got one called Nature Ellie and another which is an adaption of Julia Donaldson and Axel Schiffer's the smartest giant in town. Wow, look at that, that looks incredible. So the rostra, you glue those all together, is that right? Exactly, so you're gonna layer up your two plain ones, then your bigger one that's been wrapped, and then finally your lovely rostra topper that you've painted and glue those all together, Brill. and then pop them into your studio. Amazing, now we're gonna build the sofa, we're gonna build the BP sofa, okay? And for that you're gonna use the lid of an egg box. You can use six eggs, 12 eggs, I'm going for 12. And what you wanna do, is you want to cut a semicircle uh, on the lid of your egg box, like so. And once you've cut that out, you want to trace along the outline of this box uh, onto a piece of card. Cut out that card uh, and get three pieces and stick it on to the bottom, like this, to raise it up. And there you go, you have the structure of your sofa. And to, to do the cushions, we're gonna, we're gonna use some washing up sponges, slot them in. They're cut to shape. Uh, you can use PVA glue to stick them in. A little tip that I like to do uh, is to use some masking tape just to make sure they're nice and secure. And once you've painted it blue, uh, it should look something like this. That looks pretty nice. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna slot this in into this studio like so. Right, Ellie, show us what's next. So next you're gonna decorate the rest of the studio. So we need to have our Blue Peter badge and these lovely swells that go across the back. Now Not you don't fine. need to be quite as precise as we've been here, you can do any design in that you like, be a bit creative. I've just drawn them onto some white paper and then again just back them with a little bit of a cereal box card to give them a little bit of strength. Amazing. So we're just gonna... Yep, put those in. And I've also in. made some uh, little podiums and this is literally just like toilet roll, the toilet roll holder cut in half uh, with a piece of card on top and some kitchen foil as well. And we can just slot those in. Uh, the ribbons are looking really good. Wow, look at there that, really are. colorful. And I'm gonna put these in either side like so. And there you have it. You have your own little BP miniature uh, pop, pop. I know, he's excited. I'm excited for this. It's part two of our epic studio and presenter make. Now, earlier you saw us make this, our, our unbelievable little studio. Look at that, it's so good. Uh, but every studio needs presenters, doesn't it? So um, it's time for us to make those. Ellie, who are you gonna be making? I'll be making Richie. Okay, amazing. I'm gonna make myself. Uh, so here's what you're gonna need if you wanna make along at home. The list 
of all your bits and pieces is right there. We're going to take it off the screen in a sec. Do not fear, it's all going to be on the website. Now, before we get started, I think I should say this is my last ever make on Blue Pizza. <laughs> I feel so sad. So let's go for it. Let's make it a good one. Ellie, off you go. Where do we start? So we're going to need to assemble our body parts first. So we're going to use these little triangular dividers in our egg box for the body. So you want to cut as close to the bottom of those as possible and put it out. And also we're going to need to cut out some little hands from our egg box as well. You're going to need four little hands Aww. per presenter. Very, very cute. You'll see why in just yeah. a bit. And um, how do we make our arms and legs? They're a bit like this, aren't they? <laughs> That's right. So we're going to use craft straws, which are just paper straws, but if you don't have any of those, there's no need to worry. I've made these ones myself by just rolling up some paper really tight around a paintbrush and then taping the ends closed. So once you've got all of your little body parts together, you're going to paint them to match the presenter that you are making. Yes, now I've got a really cool one down here. I'll bring my, my tray of body parts up, because uh, look at mine. It's what I was wearing earlier, a little pink top and dungarees, and it's even got a tiny pee pee pad on. It's very cute. Um, so how do we attach the arms? So first thing you're going to do is just have a little think about where the shoulders of your puppets are going to come out. They're going to be right up near the top of your egg box. Yeah. And you're okay. going to take a nice sharp pencil mm -hmm. and pierce a hole where they're going to be coming out. OK. That's it, on either side. Get someone to help if you need it, which I think I do. There we go. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, top tip here. What's the top tip? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that bit. Um, we're going to put a string through now, but when you do, look, we've just wrapped the ends in a little bit of tape, and that acts as a needle. That's going to kind of exactly. go through it's make and just make life easier, isn't it? Really nice and easy to pull through, so you've got that nice long bit of string coming out yeah. from your egg box. Amazing. While we attach the arms, why do you love working with puppets? Because you've been doing it a while, haven't you? A little while now, yeah. Um, I think it's because you have to put a little bit of yourself in there. You have Mm. Throw in a little bit of your imagination to make something come alive. And then there's this magical moment where all these boring 3D objects come to life and yeah. start walking and talking. And like, yeah, it's truly magical. I it think. really is. It's magical to watch as well. Come on, let's get the arms on. So what do we do? Exactly. So we're going to use our little art straws that we've painted. And we need to cut a little section of them about 2.5 centimetres long. And that's going to take an upper and a lower arm the little elbow joint in the middle. So thread them onto your string. That's it, you're ahead of me already. Amazing, it's because we're slightly over. So you do the same <laughs> with the other arm, don't exactly. you? Exactly, so you're just gonna cut the end of the string off and then sandwich the end between your two little hands, glue them together, and then pull your string nice and tight so that the elbows and hands all match up. And like you say, our next arm's exactly the same. Okay, amazing. And when you've done the arm, we obviously need the legs. So what do we do? For They're really easy, by the way. What do we do? Very simple. A little bit of string with a knot on the end. Then we've threaded a bead and then a little bit of your art straw. That one's about six centimetres long. And if you're sat at home, by the way, another top tip, and this one I've remembered. Um, <laughs> if you're sat at home and you don't have a bead, grab some tin foil and just... Well, I've done a terrible job of that, <laughs> but you'll have more time. Um, you just wrap it up round the bottom and you create your own bead and then you've got a nice little silver trainer on. Love that. Love How do we attach these to the body? So just trim your string back about two centimetres above your leg and then a little bit of tape and you're just going to tape that to the inside of your body. OK, great. Don't get any shots of mine because I've, I've, that's not good. Um, <laughs> so once you've like stuck it all together and done that bit, can we do the, the fun bit? Yeah. Here we go. Here's what we made earlier! Yay! She's dancing, she's dancing. OK, quick, we haven't got long. So, we've got our body, we've got our little hands. Why are the sticks dark blue? Why is that important? So they're going to blend into the walls of our studio to really help the illusion that the puppet is moving by itself. A little tip on how to get this main... I do the tips. In. What are you doing? <laughs> Fine, My you, turn you now. do this tip then. We're going <laughs> to push your... Um, bamboo skewer all the way through and mm. then pop a little elastic band on the bottom there and that's going to stop your body from falling off. Amazing. Uh, and then it's time for the little faces. Um, I would say I made it earlier, I didn't, Bjorn did. But what do we do for this bit then? Yeah, so you can make a more complicated one that's nice and 3D like this one with just a bit of paper Whoa. mache. And that's quite advanced. <laughs> little challenge for you there. Yeah. Or you can just draw one out onto paper and then stick it onto a little bit of thin card. I've used a bit of cereal box and you're literally just going to take that to your stick. Amazing. I'm going to plonk my head on there. Does that work? 
Yeah! And guys, it's that easy. And look, and then you can just puppet them about, make them look really real. I'll do this next bit there on camera three. Ellie, thanks so much for coming in. Make some noise for Ellie! Yeah. Hiya, Marksy here. Subscribe to the Blue Peter YouTube channel right now. Check out our playlist, like this video, and for more Blue Peter, check out the BBC iPlayer. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.